hello guys this is your program tutor and today we are going to build up a very very interesting thing we are going to send mails using code yes literal codes so before before going to the details let me i want to show you how it actually works so why it is useful at first you can spam your friends or relatives or any other I'm not going to do that but if we book a book ticket for for uh, actually going somewhere or booking a plane ticket we actually give uh, give out some of the data like name or the seat numbers or other things transactions and the email uh, after pressing it we actually get an mail that actually works in the same way as here i have shown you but let's see actually how this one works here i have made made, made some co codes using php i will go through details later on now let's actually see how it works here you can see i'm going to give a mail here let's give a mail so here i choose a mail and after clicking on submit now this should take some time uh, okay you can see our mail has been submitted now to verify this one on you let's go to the okay i've gone to my mail here in uh, the email where you can see i've just got the message or this or i mean the message here so here you can see i've got some got the html tags which i have used to build up this this thing and on the top you have seen those php tags and make sure you have got the zam zam server exam server installed so that this works and if you don't have i am going to be giving a video that should be on the i button and you can be easily getting through getting through it so i think we should jump over the video i mean through the details let's look at it here you can see i'm using html use html tags and used a form on the top on the lower side and on the top you have see you are seeing some php php codes here you have seen i am using the is set attribute to so that the there is no error and it should it should make sure that we have set any value 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 towards it and if not then it should echo us that message that says please give me mail and this mail function actually takes four four i mean arguments at first the mail to which we are going to be sending and the subject i mean the message i mean no not the i mean the subject of the mail and the body should be containing the message of it and the header tag is actually from where the mail is going to be sent so here you can see i've given the subject and i've given those those on the body tag i've given the message this is a random message actually you can give anything you can like you can also give your name i mean you can also take data from the form and just paste it over here so that the data is also sent over there in the similar way and now if you go through this header you can see i've given my a mail from which i am going to be sending the data i mean this message and here is the mail function in php that's that's we are, we are going to be making it work and if actually after this function executes i have written this if else statement so that it shows us that if we encounter any type of error here and the is set attribute i have said it before now here you can see that the message is provided and well in the lower lower side i have actually completed that php tag here the question mark and thus that sign now let's go to the other part where i'm going to be setting up the smtp which stands for simple mail transfer protocol so at first i go to my xam server where it is installed now i should go to the php the php for i mean the folder but before going there i want to check okay no problem let's go to the php folder here and now let's navigate the php.ini file this should be somewhere after okay i've got it so here i have going to be going to be searching a line actually a word that says smtp now if we click on this find and then find click find next then i should be getting the yeah here you can see the smtp well this line actually remains commented but but now in our case we should be setting it to gmail because my one is a gmail here 
and yes you can see here it was written my domain or something like that you need to change it and you need to uncomment it actually removing the semicolon the top and set up the smtp port to 587 it actually sets to 25 i mean default as default and then check the smtp port and then click the gmail now next what you have to do is you can see there there is a written send mail from here here you have to give your mail address i have given my mail a mail here now next after that the, the most important one here you have to do is in this send mail path just type in this in this sentence this should be very much easier for you i mean just that this one and don't forget to remove give that man dash t and the at the last well after after that we are actually mostly done now we have to do a small thing just a small thing now we go to this send mail dot ina in a send mail folder now here we have to set up the smtp server to smtp dot gmail dot com and now we are going to be setting the port port all to 587 and make sure the lines are uncommented i mean removing the semicolon and next you have to make sure that smtp ssl is tls set up to tls here and this line is actually commented but you have to remove the semicolon also and last two things you have to just comment this uncomment this line error dash log file error log and the debug file also the debug dot log and now in the authentication username and password you have to give it your your email and authentication password i can show password actually you know it so you should give out your your mail and password there on the top authentication username and password and now into force sender you have to give it your gmail and you have to give it your force sender you can give your gmail and on local host, host name just write local host now let's check out if it works now we are going to be doing the main main part i mean the practicing if it works just testing but before that you have to go to your mail i mean the mail which you have given there and now on security just thus on the less secure app access just turn this on because because this this is very important and it actually doesn't work at times so you should make sure that it is stayed on you can see i have turned it on and there should be a exclamation mark just don't worry about it now we should be able to test it testify out now let's give it give my mail here okay and now clicking on submit okay the mail has been sent now let's check it here you can see the mail has been sent successfully so you can see our code is code has successfully worked and we have just sent mail through our some of the code we actually made so this is actually very exciting and very very useful at times so if you if you found this very much useful useful just don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and just give it a thumbs up and I, and i will be posting more and more videos so see you later on thank you